What are we gonna eat? What? We're gonna eat chicken feet. <laughs> At least this one. <laughs> Should I eat it in front of the camera? So we have been watching a bunch of Flora and Nose videos and they just have such a nice vibe. We just become happy instantly. We see the beautiful countries that they visit and one thing that also stands out for us is the food. I mean, we watch it late at night and we just have to get some, some snack or something. We get hungry all the time. So what we decided to do in this video was to visit a few of the restaurants that they recommend and try them out for ourselves. So here we are in Kaimara in Menam, it's in North Koh Samui. And we start off with a delicious braised chicken. And we're looking forward, let's go. So we're doing a flora and node food day today here on Koh Samui. It's their home base as well. So we trust that their tips are gonna be good. We start here at Kai Mara for lunch. And later on, we're going to Chaweng to a special place for dinner. The reason that we wanna go there is mostly the dessert. It looked really good. This place specializes in it. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video. I'm blown away already with this place. I haven't eaten yet, but I've looked in the kitchen. They look amazing. And this view. And if you could listen carefully, I hear crickets. And sometimes from afar, I hear also roosters. Ah, it's a great place. All right, so it's a bowl of happiness here. Yeah, eat them, yeah. This is a whole chicken soup with the braised chicken, uh, winter melon and chicken feet. <laughs> I'm gonna try the soup first. Ah, oh, it's really good. You can really taste the stock of the chicken in the soup. Hmm, it is sweet, it's not spicy, so I'm going to spice it up. Pudus, Mia, pudus. It's Indonesian word for spicy. Ah, it's really rich in taste. Thank you, Lala. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Wow. Wow. You want to try? Yeah. So Mia is taking a bite now. Can you also take this moment to help us out? We try to reach 1000 subscribers and we are a smaller channel. If you could subscribe to us, that would make us really happy. Thanks a lot. The flavor of the soup it's, it's so full, it's like very it's, rich, yeah. it's actually hard to describe. It's very flavorful, it's intense. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's like coriander, you taste a lot of coriander as well. Oh, you have to, you have to try with this. Oh yeah. So we have the, the, the free condiments and you just, you know, top it up, try it, see what you like. Mm. Really good, right? This is a very typical flavor. What's this again? Thai basil. Thai basil, of course. I wonder if she's gonna like this. No. <laughs> I'm not really surprised. It's not really kid flavor. This soup is though. So for all you families, non-spicy eaters, this is really the way to go. Delicious. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. This braised chicken noodle soup is thus far, I think, the best non-spicy dish I've had on the island. I really recommend. I'll put the description, the location in the description. 
So the name of the delicious dish is Kwei Chiao Kai Tun. Oh, I'm so happy that we came here. Seriously? Hmm. Should I eat it in front of the camera? Okay. You know, a lot of people don't eat chicken feet, but when it's braised, it's really tender. Really, it's it's you don't even have to chew. It's it just melts inside of your mouth. Mmm. It's a must try. Thanks Flora and Note for this great delicious tip. We've left a link to their channel in the description, so don't forget to check them out. So we found it, we're in Chao Wang, and we're gonna have dinner at J Pan. Let's go! So this is the last stop from our Flora and Notes recommendation. Yeah, I've, I'm really looking forward from their videos. The food looks really nice. So I'm really curious and All hungry. Right. Let's order. Let's go. Look, maybe you can already guess which cup is for me. Yeah? <laughs> So in Thailand, if you order hot tea or iced tea, the typical tea that you will get is something like this. And this is Thai tea with milk. Cheers! Mm. It's nice, I love it. Tastes like chai latte. I'm eating kambu clock. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna first taste the soup. It's a clear soup with nice broth, very light. And I'm gonna try now this paste that I get it with. Oh wow! Surprising, it's really nice. It's rich in taste and it complements the rice. They say it? They say it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not very herby, it's very light but also very well seasoned. It's really good. I ordered the, the rice soup. Let's give it a try. This is quite salty. There's coriander in it. Let's try it with some meat. Oh, they're tender. I love it. So the reason why we went to this place is the special dessert. Patongo. Patongo. They've just made it, and this is uh, you need to dip it with the uh, with some sauce. They brought us two sauces, a uh, uh, pandan sauce and kind of condensed milk sauce. So can't wait. Let's dip them in. So I definitely know what I want. Ooh, it's pretty warm. Pandan smells really good. Mm. It's nice and sweet. Big mm. one. Try it with the condensed milk. 
Oh wow. <laughs> this is happiness. This stuff is dangerous, really. <laughs> More Patongo! Oh it was really delicious. We really enjoyed it and I hope that uh, you enjoyed it too. We will leave the location on the description box below. If you find this video interesting and also delicious, give it a like. It would mean so much to us. See you on the next one. We're gonna have some more Patongo. Can't stop eating it, it's <laughs> <See you>. dangerous. <laughs> Bye-bye!